<laughs> when you have toys, you have to have fun. That's the whole point. Open your action figures. Uh, good evening, Carol and John's cops. I'm gonna stop every. I'm gonna start every one with open your action figures. Um, I'm wired, but we're the world's best comic shop because we're going to Best of Cleveland on Thursday. We're gonna be there handing out free stuff. I don't think you can come unless you have a ticket. Yeah, but it'll be at the Science Center, so we're gonna have fun. <laughs> um, after that, uh, this Friday, Mark Wade's gonna be here. We have a lot of material. Winston's excited. Winston's excited. <laughs> um, we have a lot of material to get signed by him. He's a great guy. And then after the signing at 8, we'll have a trivia contest, which is Mark Wade versus the world. That's how I titled my trivia questions. <laughs> um, but we're going to try and, uh, the staff's going to try and look good and get, how, what's your goal? Uh, to not look bad and get some Spider-Man questions right. How many, okay. <laughs> some Spider-Man questions. Yes. I'm, we're going to start a betting pool for anybody not in there and we'll see what the threshold is for getting questions right. Um, then, oh, I lost it. Then uh, next Thursday is Late Night Comics. Is it next Thursday? Yes. Next Ooh, Thursday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was an early start time. Next Thursday is Late Night Comics. Um, then we have a signing the Friday afterwards with Sarah Kuhn. Nope. nope. Cena Grace. Jeez, dude. I, I'm going to be in West Virginia for that one, so that's not... <laughs> I don't need to remember. Cena Grace is on the 20th. Sarah Coon's on the 27th. Yep. Yes. And then Halloween. And then Halloween on the 28th, or Halloween Comics Fest on the 28th. So we're going to end the month with a giveaway free candy and comics and hang out in costume. Yeah. yeah. Month of October is a big one. Then we're getting our carpet redone. Uh, Johnson on email to remind everybody to come pick up their files. The practical reason for that is if you have stacks of stuff here, A, you have good reading to do. B, uh, we will have to move it when we redo our carpet, and we don't want to move anything more than we have to. Yeah, correct. Right. <laughs> Look at me here. It looks tired. Uh, uh, all right, cool. Let's do new stuff. Um, John Shears here. T-shirt contest winner of the week. Oh. Andrew is here. Um, and we've got first appearances before a new table. So, uh, from DC, uh, for Batman City of Madness is the first appearance of the Batman below. And he looks awesome. And it's 100% like horror, like Cthulhu horror Batman. So that's rad. Um, <laughs> Batman and Robin number two is the first appearance of Shush or Shush. Yeah. Whichever. <laughs> it's the lady Hush. She's the librarian. Um, you've got a new... <laughs> you got a new Night Sister appearing in Mandalorian uh, for the first time in comics. you got Supernova uh, in Superior Spider-Man Returns. And then you've got Widow in Venom number 26. We'll get to that. Um, bottom of the table is chock full of event stuff. Um, so since our trivia contest is Silver Age, we've got a bunch of half off, or I'm sorry, 25% off Silver Age back issues that we grabbed out are from new collections. We've got new stuff, new, new stuff today. Boom. Um, a bunch of stuff to get signed by Mark Wade. Uh, all graphic novels here. Super recommended ones here, especially History of the Marvel Universe from my angle. Then you got Sarah Kuhn did a bunch of uh, YA stories. Lois Lane, really, a delightful story. So uh, she's going to be signing those. And then we got Cena Grace, just had a new Superman book, uh, Harvest of Youth. But we got a lot of his material in the store. Just ask us about it. Um, speaking of which, there's a box of back issues that will continually get full of stuff as we find it for signings. Uh, and that's the bottom of the table. We're going to start on the same side, but Image Comics are going to be at the end because we had to make room for them on the other side of the table. So if you're in it for the four new Image number ones and our excitement about those, stick around. We'll get to those Previews from the beginning of this month. Ready to go. We have one left. Uh, Ginseng Roots number 12 from oh, Uncivilized. Wow. So last issue of Ginseng Roots. Uh, Mark Russell gives us an original graphic novel from Ahoy with Serial. This is an interesting one. Comic Book Trivia is a very small company, but it's a really fun read. It is... I want to drop the thingy. It is entirely full of trivia questions. There's a small story in the beginning. Boy Meets a Genie. Genie challenges him with trivia. But the rest of them, we have three copies. The rest of them are sealed because you get, like, a little trivia card. That's fun. Um, but Blood Moon Comics. But the whole thing, jam-packed full of trivia questions. That's, like, every page. So, uh, fun. It even has instructions on the back to challenge your friends. I feel like we should be reading this before the trivia contest. Get your copy of Carolyn John's comic show. <laughs> uh, Army of Darkness Forever gives us new number one from Dynamite. And we got another good number one from Dynamite, Garbage Pail Kids, uh, Trashing Through Time. So, punny. Uh, welcome to Riverdale for Chilling Adventures for Archie is kind of a Stepford Wives, like, suburban horror story. That's our cover A right there, and this will be our cover B. 
Um, uh, third volume trade paperback of Berserker. So that wraps up that first series for it. Can Reeves written. Then we got uh, Firefly Fall Guys number two, cover A, and a uh, one in 20 variant. Very cool. Um, House of Slaughter, we're at number 18. Number 18, that's a one in 25 variant. Uh, we got Hunt for the Skinwalker number two, just in time for skeletons in your closet to come out. Uh, Sins of the Salton Sea wraps up with number five from AWA. We've got Project Cryptid, number two. Um, was that Ahoy? And then we were trying to figure out, it's not it's not a goat attacker, right? I don't like think a so. Dog. In the inside, a chupacabra? It it's not a chupacabra. Oh, oh it does. Everything inside, so that's like a different pronunciation? Chupahuahua. Chupahuahua. Well, he's going to get your goat then. <laughs> uh, Rick and Morty, we got uh, Fricky Friday, number one. I think it's a one shot. And then Battle Action from Garth Ennis. Uh, now we're up to Marvel. It was a big old Marvel week. Um, fun book. A fun little like encyclopedia. Uh, Arms and Armor of Marvel. They cover every mark of Iron Man armor. Um, all cap shields. All sweet Wakanda armor. And like histories behind everything. I mean, it's the whole shebang. Epic collection for Ghost Riders is Danny Ketch. Uh, then we've got Volume 7 of X-Force by Benjamin Percy and Volume 7 of Star Wars Darth Vader on the current ongoing. Two reprints gives us Miss Marvel, the New Mutant number one of that miniseries. Number two wasn't right. No, we got number oh, two. Oh, we did just get number yeah. two? So we yeah. got ones and twos. Yep. And then Invincible Iron Man number nine, leading up to the wedding right there. That new stealth armor. That, oh, that's the reprint of the new stealth yeah. armor. Big ol' omnibus, Marvel Age. It's got them all. Or is it volume one? Uh, volume one. Okay. So almost all. Half. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Star Wars side of things, you got Mandalorian Season 2, Number 5. That'll be your cover A. There's your concept variant. Oh, no. Raza. That's your Raza variant. This is your concept variant. Yep. Um, it's close to my pick of the week. It's number three. My Dark Droids is, like, killing it with the right amount of creepy and the right amount of attention to Star Wars stuff. Like, it includes everything in Star Wars fandom, and it's weird. The scour- Are we calling him the Scourge for the villain? Yeah. yeah. Every droid in the galaxy is, and he's trying to figure out how to make the droids now take over the meat. <laughs> and he won't stop saying it. First he comes for the metal. I like then Dark Droids. We have all three issues in stock. Dark Droids is absolutely my most recommended Star Wars of the last couple of years. And there's your cover B, uh, which plays into the book Hardcore. It's uh, like our Vader down of like, current Star Wars. Yeah, I'd agree. And we love Vader down. Yeah. Um, facsimile edition for Marvel this week is Daredevil 183, first fight slash meeting of Daredevil and Punisher. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, whole, almost a whole row. Avengers number six by Jed McKay. That's your cover A. We got one in 25 variants. We got variant by Sway. Uh, the Mark Brooks corner box variant. The Avengers 60th anniversary variant. And the Communidades variant. Uh, and then a Marvel Tales, so it's reprint. Moon Knight vs. Werewolf by Night. You've got these reprinted in there. Uh, it's their all their major fights after their first appearances. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Yep, sure. Uh, Wolverine number thirty-eight, second part of Last Mutant Standing. So you got a Wolverine Cap team up. Uh, we got an Avenger, uh, sorry, X Men sixtieth anniversary variant and a one in twenty-five. Angry Wolverine, mm-hmm. but angry but clean. I know how clean, clean he is. I would expect him to be covered in like detritus. That's what it looks like when you open up your action figures right there. That's when you <laughs> open them up. Uh, also with Fall of X, you got X-Men Red number 16. Uh, shenanigans on Mars, for sure. It's true. Communidades variant, and there's a backup story with Shark Girl. Is that her name? I think so. Uh, backup story in the um, back of that issue. And then we got a Storm variant. Spider-Man India wraps up with number five. The buzz about this book is you get a new spider costume. Shabow! New spider <laughs> costume uh, variant. So... <laughs> Well, I think I throw a little razzle dazzle at him every once in a while. We got number one of the original series up on the wall too. Oh, That's first right. appearance of Spider-Man yeah. India. Neat. Okay. Wall for the win. Uh, the aforementioned Venom number twenty-six, Black Widow has a symbiote. Surprise. Um, then we got this sweet Marvel Zombies Stormbreaker variant, the New Champions variant, which if anyone can explain to us in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to try. <laughs> but we've been thinking about it for days. Uh, then we got Moon Knight: City of the Dead on number four of five. Yep. So nope. penultimate issue there. And the cover B. Great design. Like that one. Oh, by Marquez, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Silver Surfer Rebirth. They're only at number two? Yeah. I know. What? Well, they've done two series. They've done the Rebirth, and then they this is Rebirth Legacy. Okay. Rebirth Legacy, number two. Uh, yeah. This happens in the book. 
which I'm not oh, afraid to spoil it? for anybody. Oh, no, which is taking it right out of Donny Cates' Thanos wins, and he's up there to kick some butt. And then we got a 1 in 25 variant, too. Captain Marvel. So it's a lot of recovery. I am going to call it the worthy. Ooh, all right. Variant. The worthy variant. That works, yeah. Yeah, that's way cooler. <laughs> so, ex- instead of the name that I cannot say or yes. remember. <laughs> uh, Captain Marvel, Assault on Eden, beginning of a mini series to bridge the gap between the previous Captain Marvel ongoing series and the new one starting up later. I think it's five issues. So, Captain Marvel uh, continuing the story there. We've got the Cosmic variant, the Team variant, or the Marvels variant, because that movie's coming out, and then the Monica Rambo cover. Very cool. Um, let's keep it cosmic. Let's keep it cosmic. Guardians of the Galaxy number seven. A uh, little bit of a intermittent issue between the next story arc, but definitely ties into the serious events of number six. Um, I'm excited about it. Guardian, and there's the Gamora variant, and then we got a 1 in 25 with Mantis and all that. There's so much detail. Oh, my word. There's a lot of food in there, too. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. Uh, Magneto, number three uh, of five, I think. And then we got a 1 in 10 variant for that and a cover price Betsy Cola new champions variant. How adorable. This is it for me on the Marvel side. Amazing Spider-Man <laughs> number 20, or I'm sorry, 35, wraps up the uh, Norman Osborn Sins returning story arc or the Goblin Sins with Craven, with Craven and Goblin Queen, and it wraps up spectacularly. Probably my favorite Spider-Man story arc in the last two years. It's it's very good. Yep. Like the Craven stuff seems like it could have been throwaway before this and just ramps it up in the best way possible. It's maybe the best new Craven stuff I've read, period. Right, really. Straight from the horse's mouth, the yeah. John Shears mouth right there. Uh, we've got the Tony S. Daniel variant, uh, the Disney 100th anniversary variant, which is just phenomenal, and then a 1 in 25 by Gleason. Kyle's happy. I am. Blade number four. It's a straight up Blade Doctor Strange team up, and it's the penultimate for this story arc because he ends up in a spot at the end of this one. <laughs> Not the spot, but, but a spot. spot. No, it'd be weird to be in this spot. Uh, to corner of the Marvel table, new number one of a new miniseries, Captain America and the Howling Commandos. I'll tell you right now, I wrote this off as like, oh, Halloween, they're doing a werewolf story. It is Capital's origin during World War II. And I didn't know I wanted it until I read it. It's great. It's got the Howling Commandos in it, and that's enough for me. Like, they are, <laughs> they are very much fighting Nazis and eventually werewolves. And, and they're, yeah. they're being really sassy while they do it. <laughs> <laughs> they really oh, yeah. Uh, we've great. got cover A for that one, and then cover B, uh, both featuring werewolves. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't read it yet, but Superior Spider-Man is back. In Superior Spider-Man Returns as a one-shot before they're going to start a, a another, another Superior Spider-Man series. Before yeah. that comes. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is a flashback. Yes. Okay. With many different uh, creative people working on it. I mean, you've got everybody on here. you got Ramos Bagley Stegman, like, all of them working on it. It's prepping up for the next. I mean, Doc Ock wants to be, he wants to know what he's missing in his brain. And this leads up to that. Oh, oh. So, yeah, <laughs> regular cover here, the Ramos variant, cover B, and then a 1 in 50 variant right there. And then, spider bots. Yeah, always spider bots. And then we move on to DC. And uh, the big one on the table is big. It's magazine size. It's uh, the Batman Madness, uh, City of Madness. It is very much a Lovecraftian uh, Batman story. Um, very cool art, very cool story. You get your oversized uh, Batman Black Label book right here. We got that, and then we got Sandman. Wesley Dodds is Sandman in a story set in the 1940s, and it's beautiful. Simply just, I got done reading it, and I was like, this is a beautiful book. Really well told, really well drawn, just a great classic JSA story with Leslie Dodd Sandman and Ben really loved it too. I think we all liked it more yeah. than we thought yeah. we were. We were about to write this off like oh cool new golden age stuff but yeah. Riley Rossmo does the artwork Robert Vendetti writes it and that's kind of why I was like eh let's give it a shot but yeah 
hell of a story. Really good. If you know nothing about Sandman, you're fine. Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, we got the cover A. We got the cover B by, uh, I forget who Grant. did that. Kieran Grant. Grant. Kieran yep. Grant. Okay. Uh, and then World's Finest Teen Titans. Uh, I mean, get your Mark Wade fix. Yeah. He's, he's writing this one, too. Um, get it signed. Uh, we got the regular cover here with Bumblebee. Uh, or, no. What's her name again? Oh, yeah. I don't read Teen Titans, dude. I, I'm not saying anything's wrong with them. I so, just yeah. don't read it. You know that. So, yeah. Regular cover. 1 in 25 variant there. Uh, but, for me, the big one, Yay. actually, is Green Lantern Flash, team up. It's awesome. It's Sinestro wants to leave Earth, and because he gets angry because he can't, so he sets off a bunch of bombs. Green Lantern can't take him out fast enough, so he calls in a buddy. Yeah, it's, it's great. It, it's, I, love, I love this team up. And... Ooh, technical first appearance of Sinestro's kid, but yes, they don't name it. In the back, in yeah. the backup story, okay. and it's actually a really good story. Oh, cool! David LaFontaine wrote it. Decision. Yeah, it's a good book. So we got the regular cover there. We got the one in twenty-five variants, and we have a one in fifty variant. I'm gonna here. be jealous of anyone who pulls that one in fifty variant. That's a great cover. It's a good cover. Uh, Superman Lost is on issue number seven. It's the awesome Scarface cover, the mm-hmm. Lodge cover. Uh, and then we have a 1 in 25 variant there. Somber. So sad. <laughs> like, good sad, but sad. Oh, yeah. Every issue just gets sadder. Uh, Batman Robin. Shush. Hey! Uh, it's, it's the, it's shush. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really thought they'd run with, like, wordplay on hush. Like, just let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. She makes an appearance. She's gathering up a team she of bad guys to take down Batman. Uh, and Robin is trying to go to school, and it's failing miserably. <laughs> uh, so we got regular cover there. We've got the Kong, JSA versus Kong versus Godzilla cover there for that variant. Uh, we have a 1 in 50, like, Robin Mobile variant. Design, yeah. yeah, that's sweet. Uh, and then we have... Issue number 10 of Danger Street with the Creeper on the cover, and it's awesome. Like, it's, again, another great Tom King story. You're not going to pick it up at number 10, but you should. Jesus, man. You should. <laughs> I mean, should. I pretty much issues? I jumped on at 9 just to, like, and I, yeah, oh, I did. I mean, was so good, though. Like, yeah, it was. The repercussions of 9. Are, are right in the beginning of this. Here. Yep. Yeah, so it's great. Uh, Superboy Man of Tomorrow. Uh, Connor ends his series at issue number six here. Um, and then we have one more issue. War of the Gods, Wonder Woman, War of the Gods facsimile is on issue number four. Oh. Final one of four. Then Big Giant Collections. Dead Boy Detectives Omnibus. Uh, supposedly going to be some sort of series and everything like Show that. Show them the spine. Get the spine. The spine is awesome. So they don't crazy. care how you feel about yeah. Netflix. So... <laughs> No, I don't. I don't care how I feel about this. So the yeah. spine of this book is beautiful. Uh, but yeah, here's your creative teams: Neil Gaiman, Ed Brubaker, Mark Buckingham, Jill Thompson. It's an all-star cast in every issue of Dead Boy Detectives, from their miniseries to their ongoing series. All of it collected in there. That's kind of wild. Oh yeah, they've been around for a minute. They have. Uh, my hardcover of the week. Yeah, Wonder Woman: Blood and Guts. Uh, Brian Azzarello and Cliff, Cliff Chang. Uh, this is the new 52 book that just keeps going. Uh, this and Batman, everybody loves it, and deservedly so. It's it's beautiful. It's great. If you haven't read it yet, time to start. Uh, Harley Quinn Keepsake is volume two of her most recent series. <laughs> it's in trade now. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got that. And then Dark Horse grew uh, number four, number three of four, so penultimate. Um I'm going to skip Dark Horse Bull again to go to the Godzilla Library Volume 1, which You're always is... always jumping the Godzilla shoes. <laughs> I am, because it's great. If you haven't read, like, I love the fact that IDW is keeping Godzilla's in print. If you just want to read good Godzilla stories, read the IDW stuff. They are all very good. So you get... They really didn't screw one of those stories up. No, no, they didn't. And for 20 bucks... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Oh, God, so I know yeah. where the sign's oh, going wonderful. this week. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh... Turtles is on volume seven of their uh, so Armageddon game stuff going on there. Uh, then we're into Dark Horse. Uh, Murder Incorporated, the Jagger Rose is on the final issue of number six. 
Uh, and then we have Operation Sunshine with Blood, Bugs, and Beasts. And bees. Yeah. <laughs> Not Joe Bob's bees. Yes. No, no. <laughs> it's a... So it's a... That's kind of... This kind of bee. But it's a vampire story. Bugs are what they call, like, the hat vampires. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's kind of okay. cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm into yeah. that. I like the vampire um, slime. So there's a young teenage vampire... And then, like, a middle-aged vampire who is still trying to live a human life. And they come across some information about a mystical object that can turn them human again. Hmm. So it's going to be kind of like a heist story. Okay. Like, find this object and steal it. No one's ever trying to get mortal again. Yeah, that's a new, that's kind of a, an unused bit. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's your cover A, and then David Aha did the cover B. And then uh, Final IDW, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Street Fighter. We got regular cover A there. We got the cover B, which is actually really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then the 1 in 25 variant for that one there. Uh, and then we move on to Image. Yeah. I think I'm the only one who read Destiny Gate. Uh, yeah. So Destiny Gate is a new miniseries from the Top Cow imprint. It is a little confusing about where this one's going to go. But it is a creepy train story, and this guy's got a gun in his bag, and it's just not, he's not where he seems to be. So there's, like, some creepiness there to it. I would have liked a little more direction, but first issue, so I will see. This is our staff complete pick of the week, 100%. Yes. Yep. Knights from Image, I believe, is the first of a five-issue miniseries. It is really casual in its explanation about the, the odd oddness of the world that we inhabit, like, Florida is owned by Spain, and the internet doesn't really matter. Like, it's just, like, a little twisted on our actual world, and they really involve you in the cast of characters. They really make you give a hoot about small relationships. Um, and then there's a ghost, and it's just like, oh, hey, Gary. Like, it's great. And there's it's vampires. Yeah. So just, like, one vampire in the state of Florida. Yeah. Uh, and she's got some mystery to her, but it's just got that nice little modern snappiness to it it's kind of i think casual is the right word it's like a mm-hmm. casual it's got some banter to it like oh, just casual just hang out with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah totally yeah. so knights is a great story if you if if, if you want something that's not like uh horror you know it's just yeah it's, it's horror it's horror adjacent it's great it was really fun um so we got knights number one we got a bunch of them we're standing behind this book yeah you should get that mm-hmm. mm, let's just go down to this one um another there's four image number ones this week so this one is uh Midlife or How to Hero at 50. It's about a firefighter, so we're going to call this John Dudas' Pick of the Week. Yep. 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 Uh, it's about a firefighter who's really just, like, long in the tooth and doesn't... He's not really feeling his current life anymore. It's happy, but it's not the best it could be. He so he's, also has a fear of fire. Oh, he's yeah. He works in the fire. HR department of the fire. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so he's, he's not having a great day, and... I don't even know how to not... Something happens. Something yeah. happens. Yeah. I'll give it away. I don't... It's worth... It's worth reading. It's a great... It's a great build-up to the, the shocker of the last page turn. Yeah. Uh, we got one in ten variants for that. What do you know? Another new image number one. Haunted Girl is... About a girl who's not sure if she wants to live and... I I'll just go over it. <laughs> no, no. Because uh, I... I, 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 I did read it. So... Kidding. No, a girl who's not sure if she wants to live might be the only chance for humanity to survive. And that's the, the premise for issue one. Uh, she's seeing a lot of crazy stuff, and her dad uh, is just trying to incorporate her back into like the real world, as it were. And you realize that he might know more than he's letting on in terms of how, how she's feeling and what she's seeing. Good first issue. We got the Joe Quesada's cover A. It's also a Japanese ghost story. Yes. That's something that you're into. Yeah. So, yes. Joe Quesada cover A. And then we've got the cover B here with a really cool, like, you see this creature in that book. So, yeah, that's that's your cover B. And then a 1 in 10 variant for that one there. Uh, And then, because I like it, Jonathan Luna's quest is on issue three, (laughs) but then we can move on. you like it, it's on issue three? Yeah. So if you didn't like it... Exactly. It would have been canceled on issue two. (laughs) (laughs) This one's for you, John. We're going to keep this series going. Uh, Creepshow, volume two, on issue number two. Cover of the week, really. I want to see some kid 
trick or treating with a bucket. <laughs> uh, we got cover B for that one, and then almost as good cover on the one in ten variant. Creek of Magician time. Spawn Scorched is on number twenty two. We got Kaya coming back with a new story arc uh, from West Craig with number twelve. Fish flies number two. They corrected whatever reprint was wrong early on. So there's number two from Jeff Lemire and the Kelly Jones variant. Below, uh, yeah, let's do this. Something epic is on number six. Oh, that's the grossest hand ever. That is the grossest hand. Kyle was not like eyeballs were. I don't really eyeballs like don't belong. Realize what yeah, I didn't. <laughs> this... <laughs> uh, it's like Magneto's hand in the beginning of. <laughs> uh, Undiscovered country number twenty six. Walking Dead Deluxe, number 73. Haunt You to the End, end of the miniseries, number five. All the way to the end. Um, <laughs> big pick from the staff when it was initially printed, so you got number one reprinted for Kill Your Darlings. Uh, Giant Cockchew, uh, three-issue miniseries, completely collected. Hell to Pay, collected edition. I think it's volume one. I don't know if they're doing more or not. I Hate This Place, volume two in paperback. Dark Ride, volume two in paperback. Uh, and then we got a bunch of kid stuff, fun kid stuff. Cats and Pickles, nice. coloring and activity book. Sonic the Hedgehog has a Halloween special this week. Uh, there's your cover A's. There's your cover B's. There's your 1 in 10 variant. Below that, TMNT Saturday Morning Adventure has a Halloween special this week. It's almost like they planned it. There's your cover A. There's your 1 in 10 variant. But wait, more Sonic. Number 65 of the ongoing series. Wasn't there a cover B? No, I'm just making stuff up. All right. Uh, then, what do you know? S uh, Seasons of Chaos, which is comics, older comics based on the games that were originally coming out from Sega. Then you got uh, X vs. X Men, X Villains. Hey, hey first I time. did it without, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I I didn't need all that. my syllables. Uh, then, My New Cat, My New Life as a Cat. I thought there was going to be more weirdness to the title. <laughs> I was looking for like hidden in his beans. Uh, and that is on volume three. Last new thing on the table is a brand new Marvel Select of the Invisible Woman. Where? Do you know what that's? Let's end it. I can't say better. Uh, that's it. That's a full comic table. Um, if we don't see you tomorrow, I'm sure we'll see you Friday. Um, should I do it? Can I do your pun? Sure. Because the wait is over. Wait, should we say it when it's over? The wait is almost over. The wait is almost over. Yes. Because Mark Wade's almost here on Friday. We'll see you guys here then. Three free signatures and then get back in line and get three more. Yeah. Have a good Tuesday evening and we'll see you tomorrow for your comic books.